Hello, hello. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. So today we are going to be doing something um, a bit different, kind of uh, kind of fun, I hope. Uh, we are going to be working on a mystery challenge that I had put forth in the group uh, and also here in the um, YouTube channel uh, during our live sales on Saturday. I had sent folks a mystery uh, die template, which included the following pieces. And their job was to actually make something with it anything. I didn't tell him what it made. I didn't give him any examples. The challenge was, was make whatever you'd like. Okay. So now that I've explained that, let me go um, to YouTube and open up so I can see chat. Hopefully it's popped up by now or I can see it. Yep. Here it is. And there we go. Oh, live chat. Hey, Kim and Lisa and Kat. Thank you so much for joining us. So yes, so hopefully you guys all have your templates ready if you've purchased it already. If you haven't and after this you realize, oh my goodness, I just need this in my life because look at all the cool stuff that I can make, not to mention, of course, um, stuff that you're going to come up with, right? because that was part of the challenge was to actually make something of your own. And then we would actually be um, doing a giveaway. Okay. So, and we can always extend that. I didn't even think about that because maybe after today, you guys will be so inspired, you know, after you're seeing all the stuff that you're like, Oh, look at that. I can make that, or I can change this somehow. Right. And therefore you'll be inspired to create even more. Um, so we can talk about um, that at the end towards the end. Okay. But I want to jump right in. I'm just giving everybody a few, um, a couple of minutes to come on in before we actually get cranking. Um, cause hopefully you guys can craft along, right? That's, that's the goal at least, um, that I had. Um, and I had quite a few folks signed up for it. So hopefully they'll either, um, get notifications here soon, or they'll be able to watch the, the replay, right? Okay. So, hey, Angel. Hey, Lisa. All right. So hopefully you guys have your templates. So anybody out there, do you guys have your templates ready? Um, did you cut out your templates so that you have the following pieces ready to go? I hope you did. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to work on the actual die the way that it was intended. Okay. Because that's what our goal was um, for today. Um, and by the way, nobody gets to look at my nails and judge me. They're so, so bad, so outgrown. And now I've actually started chipping them, but I've been working like crazy. So that's the good news. They're chipped for a good reason. I've been getting my crafting on. Okay. So no judgment amongst friends. <laughs> I promise. I am hoping fingers crossed. I'll get them done tomorrow because I know they are a hot mess. Okay. Let me get some light in here. Oh, I went the wrong way. How does that look for you guys? Can you guys see everything okay? Is it too dark? Excellent. No judgment. I love it. Okay. And we've got our templates ready. I hope if you don't, quick, 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 go grab them. Grab your bag. Now, it, with, your, um, with your template, you actually receive um, Blue Ferns, Glory of the Garden. Okay. Um, pad. So everything I'm going to show you, it's the same thing. Okay. You can actually just follow along using your pad. The concept is the same, no matter which pad you use, including, um, scraps, which I'm going to show you after we're done doing the, the main, um, the main card, which is what it's intended to do. Then I'm going to switch over and I'm going to show you some examples. So I think we've got Hi, enough Natalie. friends here. Hey, Natalie. Uh, I bent my, oh no. Oh, Kim, that's the worst. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear. Okay. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put this together. So I picked the um, couture um, line 
for um, for our crafting today for the card that we're going to be making together. Okay, uh, it is just a beautiful, very um, Roaring Forties, Great Gatsby, Downton Abbey type of a of a pad. Right, it's just gorgeous, and it's got those elegant blacks and reds and blues, and even a little bit of um, green in there too, and definitely those yellows. Right, so all the colors that were um, known in that era. So that's what I've chosen. I do not have any plan, so I am going to fly by the seat of my pants, okay? Hey, Kelly, because you know that is how we roll. Hello. So the only thing that I've gotten so far, if you guys want to um, craft along, of course, is going to be to cut out your templates. Um, I've cut out this one out of just cardstock, like um, manila colored cardstock, and then I have cut a base as well. This base is five by six. So if you want to get yourself a um, just a solid piece, it doesn't have to be solid, but um, perfect way to also use your scraps because it's not that big of a piece, right? Okay, I'm going to move this line. Well, actually, let me flip through it really quick in case somebody has not seen it because it is gorgeous. And then that way you guys can also get, look at that page. Oh my gosh, can get ideas as to the type of pieces that, um, you know, and you always want to do that when you are, you know, grab your pad or your scraps, you kind of want to look through them first. So you can start getting a mental picture as to what might be really good for ephemera. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, we're going to get crack a lack in. Um, but you're going to get um, an idea as to like your wallpapers, your ephemera, maybe some image sizes that you can cut out, right? Um, oh, wow huge journaling cards we might be able to use that and then of course this line oh wow look at the peacock feathers yes and here's some smaller girls in case we need something smaller right cut out now this line also comes of course with the chipboard and the sticker so i'm going to put those off to the side for right now because i'm not thinking decorating yet in my head right now i'm thinking what am i going to do with this space right and we're going to build from the back up. So this is going to be our base. This is going to be our back. Okay, so we're going to crease that. And you guys should have seen a slight score mark in your templates, right? Okay, so this is going to be the base for our card. Now, we have a couple of choices. We can either go a little slimmer, right, a little smaller, leave less of a, um, less of a border, and then it'll fit in your um, envelopes because this is a an A2 size card, which is, you know, the four and a quarter by five and a half. So um, you can do it so that it actually fits an A2 envelope. However, if you're going to use it for journaling, if you're going to use it as uh, as an insert, or if you're actually going to embellish it and decide that you're just going to make it a bigger card because that's what you want to do, um, then you do that, right? So um, I think that I'm okay with this size. Mm -hmm. And now, before we mount this base, I'm going to uh, kind of think about the fact that do I want this back here to become a pocket? Once again, what is the purpose? If I'm sending it as a greeting card, I'm going to take it and make it smaller. And I would actually not make a pocket up here. Okay. I wouldn't. I would actually just send it as a greeting card. If you're going to be using it as a, um, maybe a flip on one of, you might want to crease that and just have it become a flip. Um, but I'm going to work on it as a card. So I'm going to take this down just a smidge. Not too much, I'm thinking. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. This is not like, um, I'm not trying to. That's a little bit better, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Okay. Now that it is not as wide, we are going to bring back our paper and decide what are we going to be putting in this back back here, right? 
We're not going to adhere anything again. I never commit to anything until I have all of my pieces and my game plan. Because just when you think you're done, then you decide, oh, I need a bag it, or I should have done this. And then you realize, oh, well, I'm kind of late now. So we're going to leave it just the way it is. We're going to think about what is the image that we want to see right here, right? So let's flip through. What do you guys think? This is gorgeous. I am just in love with this page. But it might be a little busy. Maybe we can use that for the fronts. Maybe something a little less busy. Something more neutral like this, right? Because remember, if I'm doing this as a photo mat, or if I'm doing it as a card, I'm going to want to maybe write a sentiment later on, right? So I don't need something too, too busy or something I'm going to cover up in the back. So that's a possibility. You guys look through your papers and you decide what looks good to you. This one's also pretty. Oh, this is pretty too. Hmm. If we are going to go, well, you know what? We're not going to overthink this. Here I go overthinking it. Let's just go with that. So now, looking at this right here. What's the matter, babe? Good job. We are going to measure the inside of this and know that we probably need a mat for this back, that this is right around four and a quarter. So let's do four, and I'm going to write these down for everyone. Four by, this is five and a half. Let's do five and a quarter, okay? Okay, so that's what we're aiming for. Let's move these out of the way for now. Let's move all of this stuff here off to the side for now. I'm gonna bring our cutter back. We know that our card is taller and not to say this is the orientation, right? You can change the orientation to it if you like and have it go in the other direction. Hi, have it go horizontal versus vertical. Hey, Kat. By four. Okay. Okay, now we're working with this. And we've got our mat. Again, if you want to work with it this way, you most certainly can. Okay, so now, now that we've got that, we know we can work on the inside anytime because we have that option to go back and look at that later. But let's work right now on this front right here. Okay, so let's look at our papers again. Oh, someone's calling me. Sorry, I'm live. I can't talk right now. I'm in love with this page, obviously. So I think I'm going to use this one because I am just in love with it. So putting that aside, we're going to bring our template. We're going to grab our little triangle. Okay. And then, again, it depends on what orientation. If you have something that's got text or anything like that, the same thing here, you're going to be looking at that, right? In my case, I don't. So I am just going to line this up. And it's okay to go on the outside. I want a pen. I want a pencil. Just in case. And typically, I, I kind of do it on the back, but we're going to go in the front this time because it's just easier to see on camera. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. Can you, there you go. Okay. And all I'm gonna do is cut that out. And I'm okay not to cut on the inside of it or, um, because again, this is, uh, you have lots of generous space with these, so you don't have to like be too precise with them. Okay. That, let's look at it. See, do we like it? We might not even like it. I like it. 
I like it. Yes, I do. So now we know we need two of these. So we're going to do the same thing again. If you're trying to save paper, obviously the easiest thing is just to come this way. But in my case, you know, I, I'm okay. So I think I'm just going to come up here, find a good angle, and then retrace again. And by the way, these projects, all the ones that I'm going to show you, well, the one I'm showing you now, and the one I'm going to show you later, um, you'd be surprised. On most of them, you might need um, like two pages. I mean, you can really work your um, your paper pads that you have only a few pieces left or your scraps or Hi, mix and here. match. Hi, Vanessa. Hello, everyone. Sorry, I'm not looking up, obviously. I cut my fingers off Hi, otherwise. Okay, so Carol, now we've Carol. got our two. Hi, Auntie. Now we've got our two right here, right? Yes. Okay. So we've got our two panels that are going to go here. Now that we've got the outside, we're happy with it. It looks lovely. Let's go ahead and open up. And let's think about the inside. What do we think, guys? I love doing patchwork, um, and by that I mean just um, mix and matching um, pieces. Again, another another reason why this is really good for for um, your your bits and bobs, right? Whatever you have left. So I don't want to do the same one. Do I want to do blue red? Could be red. Is kind of pretty. Oops. Something with text, maybe. Ooh, black. Black is elegant, right? It kind of goes with the black here and the black here. So this is definitely a strong contender. Thank you, Kelly. Oh, look at this lace. Oh, thank you. The lace is also quite beautiful. Another red one. Ooh, black diamonds, maybe, right? No more teal. No. Okay, I think I have... Oh, look at those peacocks, though. That's a tough one. Yeah? Okay, let's keep the peacocks in mind for later. In the meantime, let's bring back that black one right here. Um, this is a Spectrum or Betty. What paper pack is that? Oh, this is Couture from Graphic 45. Good question. Uh-oh. Did somebody see? Oh, there it is. I was like, did somebody see what I did with the template? Yeah. Jeez, Maddie. I lost it already. Okay. So really, if you have a double-sided pad, you can pretty much get away with, really, if you wanted to, two pieces of paper because they have fronts and backs, right? And you can mix and match them. So we're going to repeat that process. All I'm doing is the exact same thing. I'm cutting two more of the triangles now for the inside of our paper. That's one. Let's do it again. I don't know if I'm in frame. I hope so. Oh, there we go. Is that better? I'm trying to also see what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, this is a really pretty line. It's elegant. Now, we're supposed to use blue fern, but I did. I don't know that I even kept any, to be honest with you. I think I we sold out. So, I had to improvise. But it's good, because then you also get to see it done with another paper line, right? And... Marbella. Then Hello, you get Marbella. ideas. Hello, Marbella. And what was that question, baby? Hi, buddy. Oh, we are making our mystery die. Remember the challenge that's in the group where you guys received a paper line and a die. And I didn't tell you what to make. It was your job to make something with it, right? Whatever it is that you guys wanted to come up with. 
Okay, so we've got our inside papers, we've got our base, we've got our outside. This is how quickly this can come together. Already done. And now we're gonna work on, hmm, we could do it one or two ways. Okay, let me, let me tell you how it's originally intended to be. So originally, let me move this out of the way. All these extra pieces, we are done with this, by the way. So we can put that away. We are gonna bring these two in. Originally, the way that this is intended to be is as such. Let me see, what can I use to give you an example? Let me get a piece of paper. I just got a piece of that same paper that we were just using. Originally, this is intended to have a belly band that goes all the way around that slips in and out, okay, to hold this. However, I was thinking another way of doing this is still getting ourselves, you know, some bands, but doing it a little bit different in the sense that we can use these. So the belly band just to show you, if this was the one that you're doing, you would do this, right? You would have a belly band that wraps all the way around that slides in and out. And then this would go this way, right? So they go staggered. You put your image there. Super pretty belly band that slides in and out to open and reveal your card. However, Maddie being Maddie can't play by the rules, right? So Here's what I'm a thinking. I'm thinking that we can do the following. Especially, Madison, can you turn that down, honey? Where? Whatever it is that you have um, screaming. Oh. I don't know what it is. Oh, baby. I was thinking that we can do, and I'm thinking this through with you guys, by the way. So I haven't actually kind of worked it all the way through. Carol says I got all messed up, and then she said I got charged to my phone. Uh huh. Carol says I got all messed up. Uh oh, what happened? What happened? And again, because we have scraps, we're not going to throw any of these away. We're going to use them. So here's what I'm thinking: that we can use the same kind of concept right, where this is going to go there, this is going to go here, either this way or staggered, whichever way we choose. But instead of it just being whatever, we can actually make this a magnetic um, closure. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and do. Now to do that, anytime that we um, adhere magnets, we're going to need to be reinforced, right? Because we know that it's going to be a moving part. It's going to be something that's going to be continuously open and closed. Not so much here, but here, right? That's where pretty much the magnet is going to be pulling um, at. So all I did was, by the way, from the scraps that we had from that one piece of paper, I cut about a one and a half inch width band, and then I just kind of cut it so that we have a little piece that's going to get adhered to the back, okay? Is the cream color paper your template? Is your, oh. hang on, let me read that. Is the cream colored paper, cream, your template still? Or a cream paper. No, it's a cream paper. No, I'm keeping my template, right? I'm not using, see these I did out of white. I'm not using my originals. The originals I always keep in a bag together so that I, I know what this makes, but then, or ideas, but I still keep my templates, okay? Okay, so that's what I'm thinking. Again, if you want to do a belly band, I've already shown you how easy that is. You just grab a piece of paper that wraps around. You decide on the width, how wide you want it. And it's as simple as just creating. Actually, you know what? Let's create a belly band. Carol says I thought it was a private thing. Oh, no. No, no. So we're going to go one and a half. because I don't want to throw anybody off. Okay. So 
for a belly band to work, it's got to wrap all the way around itself. Right, again, we're just using those pieces that we had already worked with to make sure that it is centered. It's not very difficult. All you have to do is make sure that your edges here line up, right? And we're going to guess about half of the card, which is what, two inches? Yeah. We're going to guess that about two inches is where we want to wrap. So kind of crease there and then come back Hi, around. Hello, Michelle Matlock. Go this way. Okay, that ensures that we're straight. Then we're going to come wrap all the way around again. Not too, too tight, right? Because also remember, if you're going to be putting stuff in here uh, and we're going to be layering it, you don't want to be having a belly band that you're like fighting to put on and off, right? That it's going to be just a nightmare. So give yourself a little bit like, you know, that. Just kind of push your paper, roll it out. You also don't want it falling, right? Nope. Straighten it up. We can now bring our bone folder, crease it. Okay. And then all of this is extra, right? We can snip that right off. We just wanna give ourselves a place to attach. So don't cut it too tight, but you do not need all of this extra stuff. Okay, sounds good, Shelly. Okay, now okay. we're going to glue this, right? We can adhere this, or we can also, you know, like I said, not commit, save it, wait, make sure, because we can always adjust it if need to. It feels pretty comfortable, but let's leave it off to the side just because we, you know, we want to be not having to recut anything. Okay, so we are here. We've got all those. Now let's move on to this because that's going to be what's going to go on top of our slide belly band. So we need something this big, knowing that this is really going to be the focal piece, right? We're only going to see, and see, this is why it's nice to play with them. You're only going to see some edges of that paper. And we know that our color scheme, and this is why I kind of work from the from the bottom up because it actually helps me to see how my colors are starting to look together. Those are going to be on the inside, so I'm not worried about them. These I care about because they're going to be here. This I care about because it's going to wrap around this way. Let me get some uh, paper clips. Hang on. We're going to paper clip this here just so we can start getting a really good idea of our color scheme, right? Without having to commit to glue anything. Those paper clips are going to hold the teal in place. Then we're going to bring this around. And we can also actually, we could have paper clip the whole thing together, guys. Being a belly band, you're going to round the black too. I'm sorry? He just says. Is it the belly blend that's going to make the round black too? No, it will not. Not in this. Okay, so the way that the card is intended to look originally is not with that other piece, okay? Just so that you know. So for those of you who came in a little later, I'm just explaining. This base was never supposed to be there. This is the actual card, okay? We're going to build it the way that the manufacturer wants you to build it, and then we're going to do something else. So I'm going to show you options. How's that? Okay, so that's our color scheme. Now we know that this is going to go here, this way. What shall we put there, guys? Mm -hmm. Again, not a whole lot of this is going to show. Remember that. Not a whole lot. Just like the corners. So let us look. Let us look. Red is pretty. You guys flip through your papers. And see what, goodness gracious, that is gorgeous too. Um, see what jumps out at you. I'm trying to stay away from the black because <laughs> you guys know me. I love anything. Oh, that is so pretty. Uh, yellow or orange. What's yellow or orange? Oh, the color. Yellow or orange. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 
So this is not going to show a whole lot. I think I want something a little bit more solid. Maybe this one could be my top. I want something more solid for that back. Not maybe so busy, but more solid. Oh, we forgot we had that peacock paper too. How would that look in the front? Too much teal. Hmm. Let's keep looking. We've got plenty of choices. We can almost use, you know what? Use peacock for the small one. It'll fit. Use what? Use yeah, that's what I was thinking, right? But it's a lot of teal. What do you guys think? Here, let me show you. Let me show you. And don't forget, we also have stickers and ephemera too. So I'm thinking, what if we do the the peacock this way then and change it around and do it that? I think that'll work. What do you guys think? Only a little bit of the teal is going to show. Angel says, cut out the orange nut. Uh, rose for the small hexagon. Yeah, it's what I'm. Uh, I was thinking, but I really like that red big one. I don't know why that just keeps coming back to why? me. Don't know. I'm just feeling that. I think I'm gonna do that, and then we'll worry about that other one. Let's just commit to something. Again, we're using like little tiny pieces, guys. We can come back and do like a hundred more cards. Well, not a hundred. Golly, Maddie. That's an exaggeration. <laughs> we can do quite a few cards. Let's. How's that? Is that better? A hundred. Those are like the adjusting with the black belly band, though. What's that? Kelly says not sure likes it against the black belly band, though. Well, that's the beauty of it, right? That it is crafter's choice. So if you guys um have this paper or whatever paper line you're crafting with, do one, play with it. If you absolutely do not like it, you save those pieces because let's say that I make this and after I look at it, I'm like, no, no, uh, uh, that was totally wrong. I thought it would look different. Well, I just have to save the piece when I make my next card and the next one and the next one, eventually I will use it or I will use it with maybe a cluster or I'll make something out of it, right? It's not like it's a throwaway piece. It's just a you hexagon. Go with the black belly band. Okay, so I hope you guys are all crafting along too. And you can share with us what papers you've used, right? Okay, so there's that. And now let's think about what we want to do now for this one. Again, once we look at it, we can always change it. And remember, the paper is double-sided too. So for whatever reason, you're like, oh, I need it more red. You can always flip it around, right? But I really like this. It's colorful. And that's nice because I tend to not use color. Okay, let's go back to that peacock one and see now that we're here, what do we think? You know what? Let's cut it out. If we don't like it, we don't use it. It's just a it's just a little piece of paper. I'm going to have to press a little harder on this side. I don't know. I didn't even check the reverse. Usually I look for whatever side is lightest. Two. Right? To work with. So what paper lines are you guys using? Are you sticking with the um, blue fern? Or did you decide to use something else first, like your scraps, just to see how it all comes together and then commit to your blue fern paper? Tell me in chat and Madison will share with me what paper lines you guys are using tonight. Yep, I will. Okay, let's look at it. Peacock feathers going. Oh, you know what? This one was supposed to go, see, at an angle. So now my peacock feathers are all cockeyed anyway. <laughs> so note to the wise, when you're cutting, again, think orientation, right? It does matter. Now, again, is this piece lost? No, I can just, you know, put it this way. There's no rule, guys, that you have to do it a certain way or not. So I can totally go this way. Yay or nay? What do you guys say? 
playing with junk scrap. Perfect. Blue fern. Got it. Hi, Brian. Okay. So what do you guys think? Like it? Yes or no? Should we try another piece? So two votes. Keeper, keep it, or try another piece? Angel says, yeah, she likes okay. it. Uh, let's see what it says. Auntie says, yes. Kelly says, yep. Okay, cool. So, again, if you were doing your card this uh, way, um, oh, with junk keep perfect. I'm using blue friend and working on my, my mystery craft. That's right. Okay. So now we are good. Guess what? That means that we have now completed this. So shall we put this one together the way that they just gave it to us? Just like this. Lisa, Let's do that. Yes, you are Shelly. I didn't keep one. <laughs> nope. I, um, I think I sold it all. And so I ended up with no paper. So I changed it up a bit, but that's good because this shows you guys what, that you could use whatever is in your stash, right? All right. Have we all cut? Let's distress. Of course, this step is always optional, but you know me, it's kind of like, there goes Maddie with the dropsies. Um, I have to distress. I, I feel naked if I don't. I feel like like I'm not done, right? But some people do not distress ever and their stuff looks great too. So you do you. Again, always remember, don't ever feel pressured to do something that somebody else does. Now, if you see it and you like it and you realize, oh yeah, that looks so much better distressed, um, you know, then by all means, start distressing. It doesn't take very long, and it, I think it lends a whole lot. But I'm, I'm always trying to encourage everyone to remember that they need to do what makes them feel good. Crafting, it's not about stressing. It's not about anxiety. It's the opposite. We craft to relieve stress, to relieve anxiety, right? This is your happy place. So you do you. When I first started crafting, Madison and I, we used to never distress anything. But then I realized that I liked the look. Like I thought, oh, yeah, that made all the difference in the world for that project. And that's when I decided, yep, I must distress. Uh, Kelly says, okay, cafe was closed. We need to head out. Oh, bye, Kelly. Why are you at the cafe, by the way? I just realized that. Maybe she's getting coffee. Oh, Carol says love my happy place. That's right, right? Yes, this is our happy place. I hope you have internet at home. I just realized that. I didn't even ask you. I tend to not be very nosy, guys, in case you haven't noticed yeah. that. Maybe she does. Okay, good. Oh, gotcha. You go, girl. Okay. So, we go this way. Cool. And over here. Now, we're also going to do the inside. Don't forget that because we know that not just the outside is going to show, but also the inside when we open this, right? Oopsie, oopsie. Dropsies. Carol says, it's my very, very happy place. That's right. So distressing here on the inside. Both sides. All of this. And then I, I am going to come and fold back my paper just because I want to distress here. Again, this is not like something that's going to get open and closed on a daily basis. So I am not too, too worried about weakening um, the paper, right? If I did, I could bring in washi if it's going to be something that is super functional, um, you know, but like a journal page or something. But this isn't. This is a greeting card. Or maybe something that's going to get tucked into 
a journal, right? All right, and just like that, we are all distressed. Let's make sure we didn't forget anything. No, 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 no. Oh, you know what? Let's do the back because we are adding a belly band. This is going to just go into an envelope. So therefore, we um, are going to be sending this off. Let's take 10 seconds and the ink that's already on here and finish off the back. There. Okie dokies. We are now ready to start adhering. Again, if I was doing something different like we had discussed, if I was going to decide to do, instead of my belly band, rather a magnetic closure, all I have to do is flip this around at this point. So you guys listen in case you want to do that, right? Oh, I might have to sneeze one second. Oh, excuse me, would be to um, bring this instead to the front, position my magnet, reinforce it, right? Cover it, position my magnet by adding um, another layer of paper. I'm also reinforcing that. And then this will close magnetically, right? So if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that now. Um, and then, of course, when we come to glue these pieces down, you can you can work on that on how we're going to make that look. Again, if you're going to be using this as something else, such as a journal or anything like that, you can decide if you want to leave this open up here, right? You can. You can notch it. Use your round punch or, you know, something to that extent. Just notch it right there. And then you can also have some kind of a cute little pocket that way as well. Not mine. Mine's going to be just a greeting card. God, that paper is gorgeous. So I'm just going to glue this straight down. Oh, you wait, Auntie. Yes, you can. That's why I didn't tell you what this thing made. I wanted you to just sit there, look at it, and go, hmm, what is this thing? What could I make with it? Sometimes we buy um, dyes or templates. And we think, oh, okay, well, this is what it makes and that's that. No, I want you guys to start kind of, um, you know, playing with stuff. That's why they're templates. You can print out. Oh, I kind of put that in a little. Okay, move. Okay, there we go. Um, you know, play with your stuff. Make copies of it. And then just, did I distress this? We missed two pieces. Hello. Hmm. I mean, it's black, but yes, it still shows in case you're wondering. Here, let me show you. See, this is without. See the white core? Don't look at my nails. This is with. See, you can see a little bit of the brown. And of course, I can bring in even more if I really want to. And then you can see the difference between this shadow and then just a white core per paper, right? S to me, it looks so much better. So we're going to do that. Making sure we get that on the sides and then this one too oh <laughs> were you that's awesome right great minds think alike but it's got a lot to do with again once you start looking at things and even as i'm putting stuff together you guys are going wait 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 couldn't we do this instead yeah why not Again, these are just basic, basic ideas. Yes, I know, right, Lisa? It's it's fun to see like what everybody else is going to make and how theirs is going to turn out because there are no two alike, right? I mean, it's even even yourself if you try to do to duplicate something. Hello, exactly the same way. You're going to realize that. Um, it's, it's hard. You can make it pretty similar, you know, but you're not going to get it always the same. So I love that aspect of it. Crafting minds. That's right. That's how you grow. You look at stuff and you think, oh, I could do this or, Hey, I could add that, or I could change this up. I bet you if I did this here, I could create a corner pocket or a flip or whatever. Right. So 
that's how we grow as artists, as crafters, is sure, we need a base and an idea and a foundation. But then once you see stuff, um, you start kind of picking it apart in your brain, right? And that's when you know, yeah. Yes, inspiration sets in. Now, again, these flowers luckily do not really have orientation. They're like going left, right, bottom, top. Um, so that's kind of easy to work with. But if you had something with orientation, before you glue anything down, right, pay attention. And basically, we've done these with, you know, like I said, we could have done two um, 12 by 12s, two sheets, and would have gotten away with... Um, with doing the whole project with just that. Especially if the papers are double-sided, like the um, blue fern, right? Ones that we're using for this challenge. Okay, and that quickly, we have, and even with all my talking and, you know, in the beginning, waiting for folks, we are under an hour. So imagine if you were doing these assembly line style, right? You would have all your bases. You would have all your, you know, once the, the hardest thing is always getting the concept. Once you've got it ready to, to go, meaning you know what you're doing, you can, you know, make a bunch of these and just grab your card. I'm sorry, your, your um, scrap pile, sit down, you know, as you're watching TV or whatever. And just go crazy. Hi, just Julia. just cut, 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 cut. Hey, Julia. Um, and just cut all those pieces and then just mix and match them, right? Okay, let's bring in our belly band since we know we are going to be using it as a belly band since I'm going to follow instructions. Not instructions. I'm going to follow the original idea the way the manufacturer intended it to be. How's that? I'm going to behave. It's so hard for me to behave, guys, when it comes to crafting. Okay. Okay. Julia. Did I distress this? Yes. Yes, I did. I think you did, yeah. I did. I can see it. Hi, KK. Hey, KK. Yeah, the first one always takes the longest, right? Okay. It's getting that concept. And then once you have that concept and you're like, okay, I know what I'm doing, then it just rock and roll, right? Okay, we're going to slide this back on. Again, we gave ourselves room so it's nice and easy, but it's not falling off, right? We still have um, a little bit of room, as you can tell, right? I have a little bit of a pot belly where I can actually, you know, now start layering, adding some ephemera, yada, yada, right? But... We're going to kind of center this. We could measure it. We know it was four, four inches, right? Four and a quarter. Hi, so we Stephanie. can do four and an eighth. Steph. Hey, Steph. She hasn't been listening for a bit, but I just got a chance to talk and say hello. Oh, well, hello, hello. So glad you're here. If you want to like really, really be meticulous about it, you can actually put a little pencil dot on there just to kind of give yourself a gauge. Yep, that's about center. Okay. And then we're going to adhere our glue on here. Again, it's not going anywhere, guys. It's not holding anything. It's just a decoration. And I'm also grabbing these two ends right here, these corners, and kind of eyeballing my center here on the belly band, right? And that's going to give me that straightness. You know what? I think I like it the other way. Hang on one second, baby. I just realized this one might, might have not really have orientation. No, it's got the, the points at the top and the bottom. So, but I don't know why it just kind of came to me that I was upside down. Uh oh, wait, center. I'm sorry. What's that, baby? You were angel say. I was just thinking it would be a good idea for a craft fair to create a bunch of cards, but don't put words on them. Yeah, some stuff. Right, exactly. They can customize them, right? Or even for like church or nursing homes or Christmas cards. Heck, you can knock up all your Christmas cards now. You can just, you know, 
create a way. Now again, intent it was intent it was intended. Hello, Maddie, to go this way. But I boo booed when I cut my peacock feathers and I kind of cut them, you know, not thinking of orientation. So mine's gonna look like that, okay? Um, oh, look how pretty that side is too. Carol says I should be packing to go to my daughter's house for the weekend. Oh, that's awesome. Again, if you were creating this for a journal, nothing says that you don't just glue the bottom here, right? Just one, two, three, and leave this as a tuck, right? So again, or you can even add ma a magnet here and just have this piece become a secret magnetized message area, right? So again, as you're creating this, you know, even as a card, just like this, the same structure, the same look, you can actually say, oh, wait a minute. I have other purposes for this. I can use this yeah. as such. So in this case, we're just going to make a card. So we're going to keep it nice and straight. And guess what? Just like that, we're done. Now, of course, decorations, right? Decorations, decorations, decorations. Now we can bring in our chipboard. We can bring in, you know, we can cut our ephemera out. We'll put everything back where it belongs so I don't have a big old mess. Okay, now, if you were not going to use it as such or if you wanted to do the belly band like Angel has suggested even bigger or if you were going to be doing the magnetic band, you can actually mount it onto the space. It was not intended to originally be that way. It is just intended to be this way. Oh, we should do something with the back, right? Like who wants to see that? I don't. Let's get a paper. Um, we have it. Stephanie says, right here. Stephanie says dry flowers would be a top of the Yeah, right? That would be awesome. And we had originally said that this piece was going to be the four by five and a quarter, right? Somebody remind me? Huh? No. Yes, four, five and a quarter. Sure was. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to duplicate this panel for back here, but since I already cut into this, I'm going to use this because again, we could have done this with just two sheets. So four by five and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter. Oh, how pretty. Look at that. So pretty. All right, let's distress again. Where's my paper clip box? Yeah. Don't you love that my desk is all clean? Aren't you guys proud of me? Yeah. I'm telling you, this thing, the Tiffany workstation, is a godsend. It keeps everything just out of the way. Love that thing. Okay. Now, also remember, you could have rounded your corners if you wanted, you know, a different look. Again, if this was going into a journal, this back panel could also be. Oh, thank you, Kateri. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye, Julia. She said time for me to go. Have oh, fun. bye, Julia. Thank you. Okay, so if this was your um, in a going into a journal, make this into a pocket, just like we talked about the one here, right? Or even make this into, you know, you could have cut it a little longer, given it a hinge, and then made that open, right? I mean, like, it could go on and on Carol and says, on Fred and on. Oh, no. Fred. <laughs> Let mom craft. So do you see how many different things you could do um, if you yeah. if you really wanted to use this for another purpose, not just a greeting card? Um, you could do all kinds of fun stuff with it, right? And we can explore some of those. And well, I hope you guys explore them. What am I saying? I could make them, but I want you guys to make them and put them in the group. 
right? I want you guys to show me what you've done because I can show you ideas Hi, all Hi, day Nettie. long. Hey, Nettie. That's actually my biggest problem is that my brain never stops. This is why I don't sleep. I sit there and I go, oh, I could do this. Oh, but I could also do that. What if I, right? Okay. Nice. Okay. So now we have a card just the way it was intended to be. I wish I had more time because I would actually make you another one with the flip, like I just said. That uh, that would be cool, right? And see why it's nice that I also gave it extra because we just added yet another paper. See, and the more we keep adding, Kansas, the chubbier it's going to get, right? Kansas, super simple. Right? Super simple, but super, super cute, right? So now, now don't forget, I put it upside down. You well, did. I could have left it because the other stuff doesn't have orientation, Maddie. Yes. So now... Um, we could, like I said, start thinking about embellishments. We can bring in bling. We got all of our stickers. We've got our stickers. There's one sheet. Hang on, there should be another one. And the chipboard. So we've got all of this to play with, right? Look at that gorgeous one right there. That would be gorgeous there. This would be stunning. Oh, my goodness. Right there. Woo. I think so. But we also have our chipboard and we could do something like just popping out the couture, right? And just putting that there as a button. I mean, it's as simple as that to just start making this look gorgeous, right? Of course, we have this frame, but it's ginormous. So let's leave that off. I think I like the couture. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I kind of like that very first idea. Okay. And again, like I told you guys, if you ever feel that the chipboard is too thick for you, um, you can always just thin it down, right? And I, I've shown you guys that before where you just take your X-Acto knife and just start peeling layers until you get to the depth that you want. For the sake of this card, I think it needs volume. Yes. So we're going to keep it just the way it is. Yeah, you like it? Good one? Yeah, pretty, right? Well, this paper line is, it kind of does it itself. I'm not having to do much. It's just pretty. All right, we're going to put that in there. On it goes. Try and get it straight. I'm trying to stay on camera and, and get straight. Here we go. Is that good? No, I think this way. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Cool, y'all. There it is. Now, on the inside, we can do more stuff. I'm going to save a little bit of time just so I can show you what else we can do. Because I promise you, we were not only going to do the one that it's intended to, to be done, right? But we were also going to talk about some more ideas and inspiration. Let's talk about the inside here. Now, this is one of the... Um, Retired lines that they had brought back. So it does come with stickers and all that, but it does not come with any ephemera. But we do have our um, paper line, right? Which allows us to, to cut out our own ephemera. Let me put this away because I almost didn't do what I was supposed to do. I'm tempted, so let's not. Okay. But it does come with the stickers, which is awesome because it comes with corners, it comes with borders, it comes with all kinds of cool stuff. The chipboard always lends itself for making super cool tuck spots. What I mean by that is, let's grab, let's, let's grab Le Chic. By simply gluing this down on the two sides, right? This could easily, not upside down, Maddie right side up. This could easily become a tuck spot, right? And even for a gift card, you can actually write your message back here, you know? Um, happy birthday, because I love you, you know, Maddie. And then grab your gift card and tuck it right in there, right? Uh, on top of it. So that would be a super cool way. I love, I love the chipboard for making um, that kind of a of a tuck spot. It's just yeah, easy it's and it's strong. Lovely. Oh, thank you. Um, however, we do have these kind of lend themselves. That's funny. Huh? 
Um, we do have all kinds of sticker choices. And like I mentioned, we have our paper, right? Where we could actually come in. Uh, we could cut a bunch of these. We could even cut her. We could fussy cut her and just put her here. She would be gorgeous right there. And then we can give her head some bling bling and over here too. Shall we do that? What do you guys think? And we can even cut some of those roses. Let's do that. And then we will call this one done. Because if not, I can keep working on it all night. And we'll never get finished. Really so beautiful, oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. But it's this easy, right? I mean, it just kind of, you don't have to do much. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I want to show you that if you had, um, if you didn't have any ephemera, um, you can always just come back in with, with obviously your own ephemera by cutting out the stuff. All right, who's got a wrench out there? Oh, seriously? Aren't you beautiful? Aren't you just special? Mm -hmm. Give some thoughts. I know, let me see. I'm going to report it first for that. Here's oh, me. Awesome, please, and thank you, Miss Kateri. Stay on them, because now that they found it, they're going to just keep coming back. Okay, and thank you, and please. Girls, get them, get right? Get them, girls. Go report them. <laughs> and just a quick fussy cut here. Go We're going to just cut out these really pretty leaves. They have great texture. So I'm going to do the same thing. Nanny says, here, go sponge cutting. Here it comes. Sit back and relax. So start working on your second card, right? If you guys would like, or decorate with me, whichever you would like. If you have this paper line, you can actually duplicate the exact same thing, right? We can replicate it because now you have your first one done. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, get them. So silly. Like, really? Who's going to click on that? Who? This is a crafting channel. Like, really? Lovely chat. Why me? If you notice the trick to fussy cutting, right? Uh, especially detailed fussy cutting is both hands move together. It's not just one. I see people say that they struggle with fussy cutting, and especially when it comes to the details. And I see them trying to work one hand only. And, and, you know, I mean, obviously you can't jump through a live and says report it. thank you. Um, and, uh, and, you know, shout out your opinions, but this is the easiest way of getting some great precision cutting. If you notice, um, if you ever watch a cricket or any kind of even embroidery machines work, both pieces are moving together. The mat's moving, the blade is moving. So it's not just one or the other. Well, you got to think of your hands the same way, right? Lisa says, yeah, they really should read the room. LOL, wrong room for the, their spam. Exactly. It's so silly. Like, like who the heck yeah. is interested in your dummy? Nobody, go away. That's we funny. That is so true. Oh, I almost Matthew, wish I would have cut the whole black band now. Also. I like that black band, guys. It. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, guys. I really, really like that black band. I think I just might leave it. Yes. And see, now we've got two flowers on there. Ha, 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 ha. Things happen sometimes. Okay. Now. Stephanie says, great tip. Oh, thank you. Let's cut her. Now, the same thing. Never, ever, ever attempt to cut an arm on the outside and then come back in and do this because this is already weakened paper. Always cut your intricate cuts first and then cut the outside, okay? So all I do for these is I make a rough cut just so I have a place to maneuver my scissors. I'm not trying to get it all perfect. Just create a hole, okay? Now I've got a hole, yes? 
now I can come in with my scissors. And what I do need are new glasses, guys. Oh, heavens. Mm -hmm. It's, <coughs> and it's a tool that I need, right? Like, it's not a, it's not. else doing art or no? It's like a good pair of scissors, right? It's a must for a crafter to have good Please. eyeglasses. Go on. Cut her out also. Whatever that means. Huh? Go She's gorgeous. You cut her out too. Yay. Okay. So you see now that is cut, right? Now I need to cut the outside. Got today. You got him. Yay. Okay, cool. I can't believe your vision went back. It actually got better. You must be eating something. You must be taking a new vitamin. You're doing something right. Cause I don't think that's normal. Like Why? I don't think that's the norm that eyesight gets better with age. I've never heard of that. So you got to share what vitamins or you're eating more carrots. <laughs> what are you doing? Lisa says, oh, awesome oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I know I, I tease you guys all the time because you, you I know you don't like fussy cutting and I tease you because I love fussy cutting, but I think that if I struggle with it, I wouldn't like it at all. You know, the fact that I have um, just like in my head thought of, you know, things that I realized, oh, I should have not done that. I should have done it this way. All those little things I think is what makes fussy cutting so easy for me. Lisa says, I need new glasses. I think my phone is blinding me. Oh, yeah. Make sure you turn down the brightness on it. I always have the brightness down on all of my devices. I get headaches. If I have, um, like the backlit, the backlight all the way up. Oh gosh, no, no, I will get headaches. Even the TV at night, I dim it all the way. Um, Carol says after my eyes turn to my eyes are blue at ninety. Yeah, but that was after surgery, right? Kim's eyes have gotten better by themselves. That's crazy. Like that's awesome. Wait, do we need to even go that far down? I didn't I didn't even measure how far we were going with her. I might have Lisa says I'm crafting here. Um we could, right? Yeah. We could. We're not giving ourselves a whole lot of writing room though. <laughs> if somebody wants to send a greeting, then they're not gonna get much room. Oh boy. Hi, that... Bev. Hey Bevy, how are you? Uh, should we give her arm to the other side? No, then it'll have a crease. No, we got to come in with her. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. What shall we do? I don't want to cut her arm off, and I don't want to decapitate her. Oh, hello. How about if we switch sides, Maddie? Angel says she needs something snarky to say. Yes, look at that. See? We switch sides. Now we've gained all of this writing room and the rose looks awesome behind her head. Ha 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 ha. Now we won't be using that. Hi, Paper Rooster. Hello, Paper Rooster. Wendy. She's just popping in for a few minutes. Long day today. Aw. Oh, I'm sorry. We are not going to be needing her arm after all, guys. Popping in, popping in for a few minutes. Long day She's just going to be like so. Okie dokies. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What Let's just stress just a little bit because we're trying to get rid of, again, that white core. No, I'm not trying to give her a tan. So I'm going to go light. But I do want to give her a shadow. What's that, baby? I was saying that I'm crafting because my husband was asking if I was crafting. Aw, thank you for answering. Yes. Very gently. I don't want to give her. There it is again. Oh, Lordy. Eh. Yeah. Boy, a boy, a boy, a right? Yeah. Is Kateri out there? She said she, she was there. I don't know if she got it though. It's probably taking her time. Before she said me, so I don't know if she could get it. I got it. You get it. Yep. So much for blocking it. <laughs> 
Bye, Steph. Thanks for coming in. It was so good to see. I got to call Steph one of these days. What? Just to catch up. It's been such a long, well, it hasn't been that long. Thank you, Kat. Thank you, ladies. Yes, thank you. I guess I need another wrench. Who out there wants to have a wrench just to keep an eye out for those trolls for us? Thank you, ma'am. Who has a wrench? Well, nobody has a wrench except Kateri, and I don't think she's here anymore. So who wants a wrench? Well, Kateri just had by step, so she's here. Oh, so she's here. Maybe she's not far no, or maybe she's got a huge delay. That could be it too. Uh, Sometimes a delay is brutal. Stephanie says anytime, my friend. Yes, I will. Steph, are I will. you going to have the block on YouTube end too? Have a block on your end too. Maddie, you're going to have to block on your end. Okay. Well, I reported it. I didn't block it. So maybe that's what I did wrong. The next time they pop in, I'll block them. You got it. Yeah, Thank you. I can help you out, Maddie. Okay. Hang on one second. Before. I want to make sure I'm not in that crease. But I do want to see that it comes out of the teal, see? So it gives it a little bit more dimension too, right? And then we're going to do this, and then I'm going to show you the other ones. And we'll be pretty caught up. Okay, we will do. You got it. Thank you. Yeah, I reported it. I didn't block it. I don't know why I didn't block it. I guess I wanted to report it first so they get their channel shut down, but... They just open up a thousand of them, so it's ridiculous. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Now, if we wanted to, we could also use some pop dots, right? Some dimensionals, and that would look super cool. But I'm going to keep this one kind of flat as a greeting card. I love this. It's like playing with paper dolls when you were a kid. Yeah. You remember that? Oh, goodness gracious, yes. I love paper doll. Oh, thank you, ma'am. You like it? Like it? Yeah. Easy peasy, right? Like so easy. All right, there we go. Let me put these off to the side. I think it looks totally 80s. We have plenty of room to write our yep. lovely sentiment on there, right? And we could still use this in a journal. I mean, we could put it in a pocket, right? And we've got our okay, card. Ta -ta. Steph, have a day oh, Bevy. Yes. Well, we won't be on here very long, honey, but you are definitely praying. Please keep Bev in your prayers. Um, well, keep everyone in your prayers. Um, but yes, let's send out a special prayer for our lovely Bev this week. Now, I would love to come back with some bling, I think, um, at some point, but let's go ahead and call this one now for the intent that it is, for the purpose that it is 7, um, 15 already. So I want to show you the other things that I've made uh, to give you some more ideas. How does that sound? You guys ready? Now, for those of you who are crafting along, are you all done with your first card? Please let me know in chat so that I, um, or for those of you who got the kit. Now, if you don't have the kit and you are interested in receiving either the full kit, which included the blue fern paper pad. Oh, no, I don't have any more. Nope. Well, I can send you the template. So if you guys are interested in the template, let me know. It is $7 for the template. And you will get all the pieces that you need to basically create over and over and over this one plus all of the things that I'm going to show you next. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? You ready? Oh, no, I know it's not good, Bev. I know. It'll be a long time, honey. It'll be a long time. It does get better, though. At first, you feel like there's no way this is going to get better, but it does get better, honey. Okay. You guys ready? Ready? So South Pole, okay. Who else? Everybody done with their first card? That is so cool, right? Lisa, are you still here? Oh, I went blurry. Come on. Come on. Nope. Even worse. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready, says Auntie. Okay. If I'm waiting on you, just let me know. You can also say not ready. Because I 
want to show you some other ideas that you can actually make. And I don't want to catch you off guard. Oh, yeah. They're awesome, aren't they? Yeah. So, and that's what I was saying. This girl right here, she definitely needs some, some dots, right? Just dot, 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 dot. And the way here, too. And even her earrings. Oh, yeah. Okay, speaking of newer drops, well, I'm, okay. Ready, Lisa? Ready, Shelly? Okay, cool. All right, here we go. So we have now made the card the way that it was intended to be made originally. Now, again, because the challenge was do not look at your dies or your templates that I share with you guys or that you get anywhere else um, as just one thing. Let's think outside the box. So all of the following projects were made with the exact same um dies okay the exact same template so we can actually make a little mini envelope this one i just went ahead and used one of the um little paper clips on there to close okay and that's all it is it's just a cute little envelope right pocket which is adorable for sending for sharing for storing stuff or for um adding into your journals right and again, just scraps. These were just scraps because you just need little pieces of paper. So, and now I'm going to be doing a video so that you guys know um, with all of these projects step by step. So you don't have to write them down. You don't have to do anything. There is going to be a video coming up with all of these projects. And hey, if I have time, maybe even more. I made another one just like that. This one is magnetized and it's got a double pocket. So you've got a pocket here, right? And as you can see, I have notched out an area on this one. And you've got another little pocket here in the front, which is hiding our magnet on the inside. Okay. So that one, again, just scraps, but really pretty paper. Like this paper is really pretty. See the sparkly? It's got sparklies on it. Well, that one does. So I use that for that. Okay. So mini envelopes are adorable, right, to make. Then I went ahead and made this one. So this is the same die Lisa, again. This is awesome. Thank you. I'm excited to see the video. Yay. Same die. Only difference is I folded it differently. You have the two side pockets, right? On there. So you've got these pockets here. Then you've got another pocket back here. And then you've got a third pocket in the back. Okay, so this is perfect actually for gluing down on your journals and then just having it all just kind of tucked back in there, right? Oh, let me flip around. And I did a double sided journaling card. So, you know, we could journal on that side and then just have something pretty here to look at also. So, you can also make that one. In addition, like, See, like you could just keep going and going. Honestly, I stopped because I had to go live. I could have just kept going and going and going. Then you can make one like this. Again, orientation is going to be your preference, right? Where you will have the double closure. So you'll have these that will open this way. And then these that will open this way. And once again, where's my playing card? You have a pocket up here, right? So super fun. This one, of course, is done with Alice. All right. And then let me close this one back up. So you really, really, really can get your money's worth out of any given template if we just, you know, put a little bit more in there, right? Oh, thank you, Lisa. Okay, then hang on, there's more. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I could have kept going. I just ran out of time. Here is another cute little sample, right? Using oh, the exact same papers, very, very simple, right? You simply create, and again, now these are mats. You can put photos, you can put pockets, you can put flips, you could 
go on, right? This is just the base. That's all I did for you guys. It's just a base to show you how by gluing them together, you can create another super cool, right? Little mini. Who was saying? Auntie was saying that you can make a... um a mini journal. And I said, Oh, hang on. <laughs> Great minds think alike as we had already made one. No, I do not. I can. I can. Oh, and Eddie got her package today. So thank you. Yeah. Nettie. You're welcome. So then I said, wait a minute, but um, here's another idea. We can do yet something else. So I went ahead and created a lot, extended on this and elaborated a little bit more. So here we have just a mat because I wanted to remind myself that um, I can put any kind of picture or note or whatever it is that we have on here. Here we have a pocket. Well, first of all, this flips. And yes, this is all done with the exact same template. I didn't, didn't bring anything new in. So you can do all of these projects with just the same template. What gift did I send you? Then uh, this right here. Was it the paper packs that you, that you got or was it something else? That as well. Okay. And then when we flip over to the back, we've got even more pockets back here. you got one here and you've also got one here. Okay. So you got two pockets in the back. And then you've got all these flips and pockets in the front. Cool, huh? What do you guys think? You like that one? Cheryl says, please. Oh, hang on, I gotta remove the paper clip. That would help. So let me tuck those. And these are just mats. Hi, Lise. Hi, Lise. This is a template, Lise. We're using the same template for all of these, okay? Okay. And all I did was I only thank had rose gold you. clips. Oh, thank Love you. Everything. Love everything so far. Thank you. Yeah, sure, Marie. I sure can. So, and all I did was I didn't have a, a gold um clip. All I had was rose gold. Hi, so I used my um. So again, you know, and I was we were talking about this yesterday at Lisa's lot. No, Kim's live. Um, okay. that that um you have your alcohol inks. Don't ever feel like you're stuck with buttons. Or like you don't have the right color button or you don't have the right color paper clip or you do not have the right color bling, right? Like Lisa was doing um, or even the right color, you know, clips because you do. All you have to do is grab your alcohol inks and turn them into whatever color you'd like, right? So I use that right there. Okay. So there's that one. But then wait, there's more. <laughs> one more. I promise. And then we're done. Yay, on time, 7.30. I did good. I did good, guys. So then I thought, well, Please if we can... Can we get the template? Can we get the template? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Um, let me write it down. Oh, actually, Katira, are you still out there? I hope she is. But then there's one more. So she then said I... said that, yes, Vanessa was still here. So I don't know Thank you, said. Vanessa. So then I thought, well, if we could go as a, um, oh, she said yes. um, maybe what we can do, Katir, is just put in a go, if you don't mind. And then that way I can just grab that list from the chat. That would be great. Um, and again, in the template, you get the base and then you get all the pieces um, to mat, right? Um, so then I thought, well, we went this way. Why can't we go uh, this way? Oh, I can try and see. Maps one second, baby. I can definitely try and see um, for the for the for the die as well. Okay, for sure. Okay, so then this paper is super cool. Look at this. You guys see that paper? I didn't make it like that. Don't ask me where I got this paper from. It is like I don't know. It's super cool. It's like textured and like shiny and protective. And it's just yummy, yummy. So I figured that would be awesome for like the outside, right? So then I did this. So then I went like this. And, and again, guys, we can keep 
configuring stuff all day long because this will just keep going and going and we can do a, like tons of projects. So these are just some basic ideas. I went like that. I went like this, right? Here. You have a pocket, right? There's a guy again. All right, let me go ahead and um, thank you guys. Let me see. Well, I can remove it now, but I can't do anything else other than report it. Hmm, how odd. You can just click it out. Um, so then I made a pocket down here. And again, there's going to be a video with all of these. Okay? All of them will be step by step. I, I, I everybody, as I was creating, I was filming just so that I would have it as a reference. And then here, of course, we have yet another you know, super cool thing. Now, again, all of these could be mats for photos, right? You put your photos. You, all of these could be Thank journaling you, spots. Thank you, guys. All of these could end up being more pockets, maybe some corner pockets, right? Again, the template also lends itself for you to actually grab the same pieces and create your corner by simply cutting them in half. These are just leftover flaps from projects, by the way. So that's why I save them because, like I said, they're never throwaways. So the same template, by simply cutting that flap template in half, I now have corner tucks, right? And if I want to even give them more body, I can just snip here, snip here, and then I'm giving that pocket a different look as well, right? And these could be pockets too. So, and they could also have even more flips, right? Or you can do a waterfall um, out of one of these. I mean, there's so many different um ideas guys that once you get once you get these basics which is what i'm giving you right the basic models you can actually come back in and start adding your own little twists okie dokes and that was my last one did i take out the card yes one second so that was the last one that i created for you guys for this live i hope that has given you tons of inspiration and ways on how to use that die Yes, Princess, I'm ready. Okay. Where are we here? Uh, Carol. Carol. Marie Webb. Marie Webb. <coughs> Kateri. Kateri. Lise Beard. Lise. Vanessa. Vanessa. Angel for Die, please. I will definitely try, Miss Angel. Angel for die. Watch this a template. What do we get? Sorry, I missed it. Sure, Kat. The template is seven dollars, and what you get is the basis to. Hang on, let me show you. Because now I use mine, huh? Did you need something? Did I want? I'm sorry. Did you need something? No, thank you. Well. Did I Hold use on, Kim? Hold on, Carol. Here, I just got you. Wait. Hang on one Here. second. I think I used all of my bases. You did. Oh no. No, I gotta have one more somewhere. I cut out like a hundred of them. Hang on. If you guys saw the mess I have, I've been cutting papers left and right all day. Yeah. I sure have. Madison says, yep, you have. Come on. Where is it? Mm -hmm. I just have like five of them in a bag. Is this way? No. Oh, wait. This is the bag. Ah, I found it. I found it. More jeans than you're ready. Sure. So this is the base. Yes, all of this is done using this. 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 And... Well, I'm missing the up. Wait, it's got to be a little bit. Is it? I didn't use it, so it better be. And. Well, and one of these. Okay. So those are all of the pieces that you need to, in order to be able to create all so of Carol these. Says, you will laugh. <laughs> you will laugh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so Angel for the die, I will do that. Kim, die for me. I have the template. Okay, so South Paw die. Vanessa says, can I get both? 
Vanessa die as well. Got it. Uh, can't, uh, can't as many, should I wait for the die? Um, it, it depends on the budget. Um, I know I'm trying to think actually here, I have my bag. I'm going to try and do better than what I found it for. I found it for $29.99. Okay. It is not an inexpensive die, which is why I decided to make you guys templates. Okay. Um, so up to you. I'm going to, oh my goodness gracious. Is it the same person too? Uh, how do I do this? Is there a way to block him right out? Hide user on this channel. Yes. Maybe that. I don't think he can now. I don't think he can. Um, which is why I wanted to give you guys a template because, um, you know, I thought it was a little bit more budget Ready? friendly. So it depends on your budget. Mm -hmm. How's that? Lise wants both too. Lise wants both. Okay. Carol, me die. Auntie wants the die. Okay. She was up there before, so I don't know if it was both. Thank you, Nettie. Uh, Lisa T, me die if have template. Lisa T, die. Okay. Got it. Okie dokes. Carol says. Right, Kim? I know. I And I get it. Look, I you guys know me. I, I want you guys to be creative. I want your budget to go further. I want you guys to yeah. to maximize everything you've got. So I I try my my best to do that because I know we cannot possibly afford every die or everything that we see out you there. Stop. You know, it would be nice, but we can't. I can't. You know. Okay, I go budget way template. You got it, cat. Cat template. Okay. Left. Um, no, as many as they like. Okay, I love that you do that. Oh, thank you, Kim. Thank you. thank you. It's not, it's not about, you know, the money. Of course, everyone mm -hmm. is trying to, of course, work for a living, right? So but it's a, not about, uh, it's not about that. It's about trying to, not only, get you guys to create, but to maximize, to maximize. Because I mean, look, you can do so many things with just a one die, right? Um, and then it becomes yeah. worth it at that point in time. It becomes worth it to have the template to invest, you know, the $7 on the template or the $30 on the die the if you're going to use it. For, for, to get to their site. I know, right? Like where anybody's going to go there. Oh, dummy. Just wasting their time. That's all they do. Thank you for looking out for us. I like, oh, I like to eat too. Right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, cat. <laughs> yes, we do. I don't think anyone else does that, that I know. Oh, thanks, Kim. Well, right. you know, I'm with you guys. I get it. I get it. Okay. Do, do you guys have any questions for me? Was there anything else um, that I could mm -hmm. help out with while I'm here? Oh, 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 before I forget, I'm going to try. What? So put it on your calendars Thursday, 6 o'clock to come back and do the Christmas in July. And I might even what? throw in some what? fall stuff or some, because um, we have the new Halloween line also. So yeah. maybe I'll even do maybe. fall. I'll do holidays. How's that? Maybe. Holidays in July. Uh, and also, more, also most How importantly this is. Be up, Carol what? This video? Yeah. No, this will stay up. But I'm going to have another video for you. Like I just showed you the stuff tonight. Yeah. Um, the only one that we did step by step was this one, but I'm going to do a video where I am going to, um, where I show you how to do all of these step by steps. Okay. Carol says cat for likes to eat too. <laughs> um, also on Thursday, Lord willing, Lord willing, I will be back on Thursday and give you all the materials and show you the materials that you're going yeah. to need for the mixed media playing card class. Okay, so Hello, I will. Lisa. She said this was a beautiful idea. Oh, thank you. Um, so if you are in that class or if you're hoping to be in that free okay, class, how does he do that? He's just hitting his space bar and hit, hit, hit enter. No, but I'm actually removing and reporting and, He's back. and I've hit He's that back. user from the channel. They have to have the same channel, just different letters because there's no way. Huh. Angel says he's back. 
I report it. I have hit the user. I have timed out. I have done everything. So how are they managing that? And why isn't YouTube controlling it? I do not know. I know. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see it. Yes. Hopefully. Um, I'm hoping to sneak away and, you know, do something about these nails. And But again, mixed media um, items and the stuff that you're going to need for that craft along will be the same day that I come on and do the, the Christmas or the holidays. Okay. So make sure that you guys, yeah, make sure that you guys, um, you know, come back on Thursday yep. at six o'clock and then we can go through all of those materials so you can make sure you have them and you have them ready. And if you don't have them, that we can facilitate them for you, hopefully. You know okay. Um, what's that, baby? He's, he's oh, thank you. Reported, blocked it. Maybe I'll uh, okay. Probably. All right, my lovelies. I will see you all Thursday. Thank you so much for joining us. If you haven't already done so, please make sure that you subscribe. Make sure Here's that you one. hit that thumbs up. Yes. And we will see you all. Um, well, we'll definitely see you at hopefully Lisa's tomorrow. Yep. And then we'll see you Thursday back here in this channel. And then Friday, I heard, I heard Kateri. through the grapevine that Kateri is going to go live again. So do make sure that you join um, Kateri as well um, on Friday. Yay. Good okay. Night, Carol. Thank you so much. Love Thank you guys. You. Blessings. We'll see you guys tomorrow and the day after and the day after and then Saturday back here. So we're going to see you for the next four days. Love you guys. Love Bye. You.